Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. And on this on in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I think crested geckos are the best beginner reptile. If you want to get into reptile keeping, these guys are the absolute best to get. <laughs> I start off this video by saying that obviously pets are a work no matter what pet you get. So when I say they are easy or, you know, their care is very low maintenance they still have like you still have to care for them these are not like self-sufficient animals so in my experience crusties are very docile animals i have two and never once have any of them tried to bite me or attack me in any way um they're jumpy but like as you can see with phoebe she's fine being held stitch my other crested gecko is more jumpy and on the go so i don't take him out as much but Phoebe is very relaxed and she's fine sitting in my hand or just kind of, you know, slowly crawling, not like jumping all over the place. So they're, I think they're very good to handle. They're very easy to handle. They're also really soft. Um, obviously, she doesn't enjoy pets, but it's kind of cool feeling her like belly because um, it does feel like velvet almost. Like they are very soft to the touch. And their big eyes are so adorable. And then their setup is pretty simple and straightforward. Obviously, I have a bioactive setup, which means that the tank is like self-sufficient and self-cleaning. So, um, you know, there's relatively no work. But even when my tank wasn't bioactive, it was pretty easy to maintain. Just wipe it down, change out paper towels. And then twice a day, I would mist her enclosure and it was no issue. I even actually recently got a mister. So once I set that up, I actually might not even have to mist their cages at all, um, which is really cool. So that's like pretty easy. And their food is really easy too. I feed Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Phoebe was getting, I think that was a little too much food for her. So I actually cut back to Mondays and Fridays for her. But um their like their food's really easy it's just pangea mix so you just mix it and you place it and you're all set and you're like wow that was easy and then offer crickets or bugs in general either on weekends or you know twice a month or however that works however you want to do that i mean it's really simple though <laughs> they don't need crazy lighting or crazy heating it's just very very ba basic very easy <laughs> Another reason why I think they're really good beginner reptiles or beginner pets in general is because they are like pretty hardy animals. Um, obviously, you might have some issues with shedding in the beginning if you're not really sure how the misting works, but once you figure it out, I, you'll be fine. I, I have faith in you. I think another reason why they're really good beginner reptiles or pets is you can kind of find them virtually anywhere and they're not going to be wild caught because they're so common in the like pet trade industry. Um, and they're really not that, ex for the most part, they're not expensive as like reptiles go. Obviously, if you get like the cooler morphs, you're gonna run into some expensive high prices, but like for, I mean, okay, she was kind of expensive, not gonna lie, <laughs> but I've seen Cresties go for like $25, $50 at Reptile Expos. Like they're really not that high price. You can find a lot on Craigslist or um, somewhere for like zero dollars honestly so it just depends but um, for price range they're really not that bad <laughs> and you don't really spend that much money on bugs because they don't really eat that many bugs I think at most like Stitch has eaten four crickets once and that was like that was it for him like he was full after that <laughs> so they don't really you're not paying for bugs you know like not that much money for bugs and their food, if you get a big bag for like $20, that will last you a pretty long time. So I know this is kind of like common sense, but I think another reason why they're great first time pets is like they, you, you don't need a babysitter. You don't have to constantly watch them like a puppy or even a kitten sometimes. Like they don't need your companionship. Like as long as they're getting fed and their tanks are getting misted, that, that's all you need to do. Like they're good <laughs> and check in on them make sure they're okay I mean like after that like they're they're golden you're fine you know you're not gonna have to be paying for a pet sitter to spend the night with them they don't need outside tank time they're not like mammals where they need your companionship 
they're fine on their own. She would probably prefer to be, no, she would prefer to be in her enclosure right now. She just tolerates handing really, handling really well, but like she doesn't need to be handled, if that makes sense. Like they don't need outside time. And then I would say the last and best reason about why crested geckos are the best is because we know so much information about them. Um, obviously, like their setup overall isn't that going to be that pricey depending if you go with a bin or a 20 gallon tank. The exoterras, as you can see behind me, they're expensive, but it's a one-time fee. And I mean, you don't have to upgrade them again. If you get an 18 by 18 by 24, that will last them their whole entire lives. Um, I mean, mine bioactive, like I said previously, so that was kind of very expensive. <laughs> But once it's all said and done, it's self-sustaining, so I don't have to clean it, and it's really cool and enriching. But we know, like, okay, their setups need to have foliage, and they like to hide in the trees, and they like to have um, horizontal climbing so they don't get floppy tail syndrome, and we know what diet works best for them, and we know UVB is helpful for them, though it's not necessary, and that they you know, that they'll actually bask, and we know so many things compared to some other reptile species that people don't really know a lot about. I do want to add at the end, they do live a very long time. I give this warning, I think, in like all my crested gecko or reptile videos, but that's because they live a very long time. She can live 18 to 20 years easily, no problem if everything goes well. Um, and I fully expect her to live that long. So if you want a pet who who is not going to um, live a very long time, you please do not get these unless you would adopt an older one out. If you have a crested gecko, I'd love to hear about them. I honestly, I think these guys are my favorite reptile species in the world because they are just so darn cute and just so great. Like, look at this, she's so great. <laughs> um, if you are considering getting a crestie after watching this video, please let me know. That'd be honestly so cool. Like I said, these guys are so awesome and you'll love them so much if you want a cute little gecko. Like, look at this. Like I said, this is, who doesn't want this?